It's a hot first night of the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament in New Bedford. Even so, there's a lot to celebrate, and thousands of people are not letting blistering summer heat slow them down. The four day event back for the first time since 2019. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts has been there since the gates opened. She joins us from New Bedford with a look inside. Amanda? Well, this event is recognized as the largest Portuguese feast in the world. And on night one, as you can see, the party is well underway. Tens of thousands of people are expected here over the next three days. It is wonderful to be back. Madeira Field filled with people once again at the 106th Feast of the Blessed Sacrament, back after a two year hiatus. So nice to come back after the pandemic, and we just couldn't wait to get here. The four day event has it all entertainment, food. Oh, this is called uh, Casola. Is that your first stop when you come to this? Yes, always. Always first stop, and then the next stop is for beer. And the famous Madeira wine. I love the Madeira wine. But you have to be really careful because it goes down so easily that one year I had one too many and I was feeling a little whoopy. But with steaming hot temps, there are plenty of other liquids too to help people stay cool. We have a lot of water and a lot of water. The event brings tens of thousands into the city, some traveling far and wide like Alice Machado. They shot the 94 year old flew in from North Carolina. They, my children love the feast. And I thought, well, I might as well make it one more time. Because God knows if I'll make it again. For many, it's a reunion. Sometimes we never see them all year long. Then we come here and we see them all. You know, everybody comes here. For others, a rite of passage, like those who plan the event, passed down through generations. For them, this is part of the fabric of who they are. We are so glad to be back because this is a tradition that we inherited from our grandparents. It's being part of this is better than a big trust fund. Now, with so many people expected here, there is a major police presence from all different surrounding police departments as well as canine teams. The celebrations tonight wrap up at 11:45 and start back up on Friday at noon and run until Sunday. In New Bedford, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.